Hey there, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com, and today we're going over latte art, specifically how to pour a tulip in a few easy steps. Let's get started. So you'd like to learn how to better free pour tulips, or perhaps just improve upon your tulip game. Well, first things first is you want to check out our video on how to free pour a heart first, as that is a very important step in pouring a very good tulip. It's pretty essential to master the heart and get the art of pouring a round base before you tackle a tulip. So at this point, assuming you already know somewhat about latte art, we're going to just skip ahead and focus on the pouring technique of how to pour a tulip. You want to make sure you have a pitcher with a very sharp spout in order to pour crisp lines, though you can also use one with a rounded one. It just becomes a little bit more difficult to do the pull through at the end. So in order to create the tulip design, what you're going to do is create your nice even base by swirling around, pouring high with a thin stream, dipping in low, touching the tip of the steaming pitcher to your vessel almost, getting in very close to your espresso, and pouring these base layers or stacks as they're called. What we're going to be doing today is just doing a simple tulip of three stacks. So that involves pouring one, two, three layers, starting with the two base stacks and finishing with the heart design and pulling through all three layers. When creating a tulip, it is important you are actually dipping in and lifting up, completely stopping the milk flow in order to create the design. So fill your vessel about halfway and then dip in very close, touching your steaming pitcher to the vessel and start creating those base layers, and then come up, create that heart, pull through nice and crisp through all the way. Feel free to practice with just water at first, getting the motions down of dropping in those stacks, making your heart and pulling through with a nice thin stream. This way you can watch the actual stream while it's being made. With tulips, it's also important to note your milk texture and consistency. You wanna be either on the thinner or slightly foamy side, not any more foamy than a standard cappuccino though, or your latte art will just turn out like a blob. So let's show you that in action. All right, so let's go ahead and create our basic three layer tulip here. I'm going to be steaming on the latte side. So not too much aeration, not too much microphone, but just enough to create some solid stacks here. Tapping out those big bubbles. All right, so let's start off by creating a nice clean canvas here by swirling around, dipping in close, laying our first layer, second layer, pushing that in, third is the heart, and pulling through. So there you have a nice simple three layer solid tulip there. So after you get down the simple three layer tulip with solid stacks, you can now work on your variations, incorporating all of the different designs. Next, try incorporating some ripple action into your tulip. This is almost like you're creating a rosetta, but you lift up, create another base, lift up, create another base, and then create a solid heart and draw through on the top. You can add as many ripples or stacks as you'd like and really get creative with it. Let's show you what that looks like. This time let's incorporate some ripples and maybe a few extra layers. Another fun variation is to do what is called wrapping your heart on top, which is just adding an extra base layer closer to your top heart and it creates a wrapped design. If you are attempting a rippled tulip, you do want to keep your milk on the thinner side. Let's give that a go. Base layer, creating our rippled layer here, dropping a few extra ones in there, 
and on top we'll do a wrapped heart. So as you can see, it is quite fun to add a few more layers. Incorporating those ripples just kind of enhances your overall design and wrapping the heart on the top just adds an extra flair. Another thing I'd like to recap is getting in as close as possible to your espresso is really essential when creating this design in order to keep it crisp, clean, and bright and within your control. So as mentioned before, fill your vessel about halfway with milk and then dip in as close as possible and create that design. This is something you're gonna get used to as you practice is knowing how far to tilt your vessel without it actually spilling and dumping out your beverage. When you're finishing, you do want your vessel to be completely upright and draw through with the thinnest stream possible. Bonus points if when you do your draw through, you can end a bit early so it doesn't actually leak off the edge of your vessel. So have fun with it, be creative, and as always, practice, practice, practice makes perfect or near perfect. So I hope with those few easy steps, you were able to improve your tulip game. Whether you're a business owner trying to wow your customer or a home user trying to level up on your espresso, our Majesty Coffee Latte Art Mastery course was designed specifically with you in mind. Try it for 30 days, and if you're not satisfied, it's totally free. Check it out on majestycoffee.com backslash latte. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next class.